essentially the uh, other things I feel like I still need to work on with this painting is uh, the way that her hair is highlighted. I haven't done too, too much uh, to make it fancy, but uh, I will be wanting to put on some, some uh, kind of more orangey edges down below and uh, fill in over here with some more detailing. But uh, I don't think that her hair needs a whole lot more work. People are always telling me how hard a medium that oil is, and uh, it's really all I've ever worked with when it comes to paint. And I think it's pretty forgiving. You know, you can uh, you do layers. You can take up you can take up things that you don't like. Um, and although you can do that with other paints, other paints will dry a lot quicker. So this gives me time to make sure that everything is exactly the way that I want it to be. Right now, I'm attempting to load the tip of my brush so that it's uh, fairly sharp because I want to do some of the lines on his cape over here. It's not going to take a whole lot to do that, but still. When you're dealing with comics, you're dealing with a lot of just straight, flat lines. This went on kind of uh, blotchy. So I'll even it out with some thinner and just pushing the excess paint along to cover the areas that didn't get hit before. Since I'm finding this angle to be a little bit awkward, I'm just going to turn the painting. In the event that you completely mess up, that's what thinner is for. Just take it up. Try not to smudge it so badly that it taints the coating underneath. And just start over. Now that I look closer at this, I'm seeing that I'm seeing that there's a whole lot more, uh, a whole lot more darkness in the cave here than I actually had uh, put in. So, guess I'll be mixing up a little bit of uh, alizarin crimson and fixing that.
I'm smoothing this out so the color looks a little bit more even. Some of that modeled look I'll actually allow to come through because it makes it look a little bit more organic.